<laughs> Listen up, because I'm going to speak up. My name is Mad Dog Max, and this Saturday, this Saturday, the 6th of April, at the Corpus Christi Club in Ashma Park, there's going to be a four man. Maybe a three and a half man, depending how you measure people. A four man, one night tournament, let it all rip and ride to see who is remaining, to see the winner will go on one week later to wrestle WWE legend, WWE superstar Eugene. Now let me tell you this. This Saturday, the 6th of April, at the Corpus Christi, means an hell of a lot to me. I'm going to wrestle my tag team partner, Johnny Thunder, or I'm going to wrestle Danny Gold, or I'm going to wrestle the half man, Cal Silver. Two semi finals, one final. Means more to me, lads, than it means to you. Here's a bit of an history lesson. Two decades ago, a much younger, much sprightlier Mad Dog Max wrestled against WWE superstar Eugene in Cardiff. That match went on YouTube, that match went all over the world, and luckily for me, my career, it got attached to a rocket. There was a rocket to its ass, and we went to the moon. It means something to me, this match. Now, Johnny Thunder, you're my tag partner, and I love you. But why do you want to wrestle, Eugene? The prestige? Because you want to? Because you want to test yourself? Fair enough, I respect you. Danny Gold, why do you want to wrestle, Eugene? Because you've seen him on telly when you were two years old? I don't know, and I don't care. Cal Silver, at the last show you spoke that much that I forgot about you. I don't know why you want to do it or how you want to do it. For me, I proved that man, I proved myself against that man in my early 20s and I made my career. 20 years later, I want to prove myself all over again. But we ain't doing it in Cardiff, we're doing it in Darlaston. And it's that simple. I proved myself once, I beat him once, and my career went that way. You're telling me you want the match, Cal? You're telling me you want the match, Danny? You're telling me you want the match, Johnny? You want the match, you want the match, you want the match. I need the fucking match! Don't come to me on Saturday and I ifs, buts, or maybes. Because the 6th of April, Corpus Christi Club, me and you three are going to become one. And that one's me. I'm going to wrestle Eugene again. I'm going to prove myself again. And it all starts again. It's a rebirth. I don't want it. I don't fancy it. I don't think that it should be. I need it. I'm going to have it. And that match is mine. So you folks watching, you've been here this Saturday on the 6th at 6 o'clock. 6, 6, 6. <laughs> A Corpus Christi club to watch me go out through ever in the semi and through ever in the final. Because on the 13th, it's got to be me and Eugene at the town hall. But to work out that, you've got to be there in the 6th. I'll address this next part to Cal Silva. Because Danny Gold, you pissed me off, but you can piss off over there. And Johnny Thunder, I respect your motives. And you're my tag partner, but eh, eh. I'm going to address Cal Silver this next bit, because he's the one with the flappiest gums and the loudest vocal cords. You told me that this is your turn and this is your time. You employed, even though you don't have the balls to say it, that my time's over and it's not my turn. You said it's your go, it's your, your ride, it's your next go in the driving seat. Cal, I've got some fucking news for you, son. By the time I was your age, I'd already wrestled in America. By the time I was your age, I'd already wrestled in Greece. 
By the time I was your age, I'd already wrestled in France. By the time I was your age, I was already full time all over the globe, covered in gold, world champion. I had achieved, and I carried on my jettison upwards. You're one of them folks, Cal. It's my turn now, it's my go now, it's my go now. I don't think so, son. Let's talk in terms of Liverpool, you'll know about that. Everybody goes, oh, Robbie Fowler, he was the most naturally gifted striker on the pitch. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Did, why didn't he play for England more? The truth is, Callum, he did not play for England more because he was born and existed at the same time as Sir Alan Shearer. People talk about the likes of Tully Blanchard. They say he should have been world champion, he would have been world champion, he could have been world champion. Why wasn't he world champion? The truth is, Tully Blanchard had the ill fortune to be born with and around at the same time as Sir Richard Flair. So he was never world champion. Cal Silva, you think this is your turn? You think this is your crack of the whip? You think it's your turn driving the wheel? Well, I've got some fucking news for you, Cal. You're unfortunate enough to be born, bred and raised in the era of Mad Dog Max. You ain't wrestling no yanks. You ain't steering no cars. You ain't in charge of fuck all. Flap your gums again, Cal. Because this Saturday, I'll go through you and whoever else. This Saturday, the Six Corpus Christi, four, three and a half, four man tournament. One night, the winner faces Eugene. 13th, I'll face Eugene. Usher go!